Welcome to Coasters with Moi. <laughs> Words of Holly Jarvis. I, I have, have to have, have this. this. <laughs> <laughs> so just got all these lovely birthday gifts. Check these out. Got Fly, Taryn, Zadra, all as friends. Thanks to these lovely humans. <laughs> Moi Airlines. <laughs> Off to the Flock Tropics. <laughs> Off to Joy Fate Airlines, if you know, you know. <laughs> Got Julia Fox. All like, aboard! And Miranda Sings. <laughs> Apology videos as the entertainment. Doing yeah, yeah. Charles' yeah. rendition of No Face I'd Rather Be. Yeah. <laughs> Monday, Monday left, left me broken. broken. Yeah, I've got loads of sweets and stuff. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. Vegan. vegan. So we're in Blackpool and it's chucking it down. And we were going to get the tram. <laughs> and oh, it pulled up. Me. And we were gonna like go get on and I thought it was gonna open the doors automatically and then they just drove off. Big flop. First impressions. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I thought we just decided to walk to spoons because it's not that far. Back of like burner in the middle. All these years that I've waited, I'm finally here. And tomorrow we're going to be gracing the one and only Pleasure Beach. Well, I'm very excited. Well, you know, it's still raining. We're going to get the tram home. But uh, hopefully it won't just drive past. Tram! It's here! I'm just a state snob. This is the only outfit I've had. You're not in my eyes. This is like one of the rooms. The kitchen. This is the dining room with this chandelier that for some reason has got like 10 light bulbs and there's like loads and loads of dvds and we've decided to pick deal or no deal dvd game x factor <laughs> ps3 we've got to play that five for five pound yeah. relevant as well to the acom Hello, 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 and welcome to the Coasters with Moi channel. Take the sunnies off, can't see the camera. I'm Molly Moi, and today we are at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I'm here with some very, very, very special guests. We've got the whole gang here. We've got Harry Moi. Hey. We've got Jay Twizzy Tracks and Snacks. Yes. <laughs> i got Tilly and Eloise. Hi. Is everyone excited? Yes. yes. Oh, icons what? testing, big ones testing. I don't know what we can do first. This is quite overwhelming. I haven't been to a new park with so many creds in like a while. So, just really shocked. I can't believe it, but you're gonna get all of our reactions to all of the rides today because none of us have ever been to this park before. So I'm in awe, I've seen so many vlogs. I've been wanting to come to this park for years and I'm so excited. So <laughs> I just cannot believe everything is built within each other. Oh my God, Icon is huge. I didn't realize Icon would be that big. Clearance. <laughs> Come off of the Nickelodeon streak, which is like their family slash kids wooden coaster. But I tell you what, it gives you some intense thrills on there. I was out of my seat. We all did like towards the back of the train, which is nice. They let you pick the rosa, and yeah, it was kind of painful at times there, especially on like the right hip. And it's making me a bit worried for Grand National because I came in like, oh yeah, I'm gonna love Grand National. But if that was rough, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Did you have a good ride, Eloise? It was great. It was definitely a rougher ride than I was expecting. Yeah. Some jolts, which were probably the biggest the most jump scare intense for me. Kid cred of all time. But yeah, yeah, it was fun. I got like airtime on every drop. Same. Tilly, did you have a good ride? Yeah, it was good. I think it's been a good start. Yeah, good start. Intense. Yeah, literally the same. That was, yeah. so, was so intense. I but can't believe it. Stampede is better. Yeah, oh yeah, Stampede is so much better. <laughs> my knees were like banging against the uh, the front bit, but obviously that's uh, oh my to be God, expected. I guess they were, they? Yeah, but, um, yeah, the airtime was really intense yeah. on that one. Been on Blue Fly, a nice little uh, kiddie wooden cred. And what made that ride was the staff. They were so funny, so nice. The guy at the front was basically telling us about Grand National, and he, he recognised my t-shirt. He's got the Zadra t-shirt on today, and he's saying about like. Is the business better than Icon's? I don't know. I haven't been on Icon yet. Oh, and then he gave us some tips for Grand National. Told us to get a middle seat, and on we'll see, and to yeah. pray. So yeah. that's hopeful. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. And then the guy on the back was like, I've got one thing to say. Have you ever seen Final Destination? And then sent the coaster. That was funny. 
And what's really cool about that, he had like a manual brake, so that must have been like one of the oldest coasters yeah. I've ever been on, he said, he which said is kind of fun. Be careful of the brakes, they're a little bit janky at the end, but I think he was saying it because the guy operated it. Yeah, <laughs> but they weren't too bad. It was quite a smooth brake. But it was tiny, I had to cross my legs, um, yeah. and we all had to have like one seat each. It's a, yeah, it's not, it's not built, it's a kiddie crib. It's not built for adults. We're two creds down, got to get ten more now. Someone raced the car once on the uh, big one track. Oh, bubbles! Oh. And they're off! <laughs> Get the other creds. <laughs> I thought my hips were gonna break at one point. Oh, yeah. It was so bad. Like, bad. a little one like that, but also at the same time, like one of the most intense rides I've been on. Yeah. I, there were so many times where I was like, oh my god, um, <laughs> there's nothing below. Yeah. It's really scary. Also, I like interacted with the Nickelodeon ride. And yeah. Everyone was waving. Oh, no. That's fun. But obviously I can't take my hands off the bar, so... Yeah. And it's a little he's, bit he's like a death step. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was really good, but yeah, just very, very intense. <laughs> this is so goofy. So yeah, we just come off Steeplechase and it was awful. It was pain it wasn't awful, but it was really, really painful on the hips. Like those turns you just need to prepare yourself for how much pain you're going to be in and I think any size you are like I'm in pain Jordan's in pain oh, Harry's in pain yeah. I'm about to talk to Eloise until he'll run it at the moment but yeah very very fun ride and it's it's clear to see why that's the only one of those left in the world because it is, it is very painful and the profiling is a bit off but you know what it's a really fun experience I think it would have been funner if you could have actually raised your friends because the yeah. queuing system was a bit complicated and also the express pass sort of um, mixes up things because we thought we'd be racing together but then obviously express pass was let in and we were like oh no we, would, we won't be able to even though we sort of worked out so yeah. I think it needs a better queuing system yeah, so you definitely. can actually race your friends because it would have been like 10 times more fun now like, and the middle rail's closed so I'm not going to be able to get all three creds but I don't know if I, I, I want to get the second cred after that <laughs> oh, no, so scary. Right? painful or okay? <laughs> It was okay. It, it was, was really cool. Cool. It was very realistic. Of course, it's scary. You know. Oh, big ones open. Big ones open. Should we go on it? Okay. Let's do it. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Time has come to go on the tallest coaster in the UK, and I am so excited. Woo. Today we're kindly sponsored by Pepsi Max. Love to drink it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be gooped and gagged after coming on this one. But yeah, uh, are you guys excited? Yeah. Do you reckon they're excited, guys? <laughs> are you excited? Do you reckon he's excited? I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, come just on. opened, so I feel like I haven't had time to process what yeah. we're doing yet. I feel like once we're like halfway up there, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Two hundred fourteen for Arrow Hyper. I'm excited. And kindly sponsored by Pepsi Max. Yes. yes. <laughs> we love you, Pepsi. Or do we? All the flavour, zero the sugar. Yeah. Let you know all of our thoughts once you come off it, because this is going to be an iconic ride. I'm so excited. Yeah. A lovely, amazing. We've just been on the big one. I can't believe it. That's probably the one of the most iconic coasters in the UK, and we've just completed it. Oh, I tell you what, we did back row at what cost? No, I'm joking. The first drop was insane. Proper like out of your seat moment. Like round to the left. Biggest one I've done. Like. Thought that it was gonna fling me out of the seat, like to the right. And yeah, it is definitely a bit rough, but it's not overwhelmingly rough. And part once you get past that drop, 
the layout is quite tame. It's quite, and nothing much happens. There's a few turns, and there are some like major clearance issues, which is insane. But there's this one tunnel you go in towards the end, which is like, oh my god, I'm literally gonna fly out of my seat. <laughs> I like hit the head. I felt I felt bad for Harry because he's only that bit taller than me, but he had to be like, Ooh. <laughs> oh. But yeah, the lift hill, the drop. There's not much airtime. I would prefer for it to have a tiny bit more airtime. But you know what, it's an iconic coaster, I enjoyed it, I didn't love it, it's probably not going to crack any top 10, top 20s, but it was really, really fun. That's all I can say, and it was good to experience it with everyone. What did you think of the big one? <laughs> um, I thought it was good, I appreciate it for what it is, Yeah. but it was just really like rough on my knees, there was really bad leg room. Um, we were back row, so we got flung yeah. over, the, oh over the drop, which was... <laughs> Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. Um, but that was, like, it was fun. It was fun to experience it with everyone, but I don't think I'm going to be rushing to get on it again soon. Uh, Jordan, did you enjoy it? <laughs> I did, I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, it's definitely the tallest I've ever been yeah. on. And 214 feet, yeah, we felt all of it. Because <laughs> we, we were at the back as well, going over that like, initial drop, we like got dragged over it, yeah. so it was just like, yeah. it was, it was it was brilliant. I think as like one of the shortest of the group, I had a bit yeah. of an easier time. Cool. Um, but yeah, but the first job was insane. I love that. That was really cool. And we had a nice little view on the way out. Yeah. Um, I could see our little like spooky apartment place. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Mystery house. Yeah. yeah. After the initial drop, like it wasn't quite as exciting after that, but still really good rides. Um, and not as scary as it was. Yeah. Really. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I agree with Harry. I appreciate it for, it for what it is, but it's for me, it wasn't fantastic apart from the first drop. Come off the Red Arrows uh, Sky Force, and I have never felt more unsafe on a ride in my entire life, so I decided not to spin. But Harry decided to get a bit of momentum going. You got stuck upside down. <laughs> you got you got spinning, didn't you? Honestly, um, all the way upside down as well. At one yeah. point, I don't know how I did it. But um, by the time I sort of worked out how you did it, it came to a stop. So definitely gonna go on that later to yeah. try and get full spin, 100, 360 degrees constantly. It was so good. I have to try <laughs> overcome my fears and try spin. Like I couldn't spin. Like I got yeah. up, I just felt so unsafe. I don't know why. I just got really scared. I'm really scared, guys. Probably the best ride so far. But really? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Honestly. Quite comfy seats, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really comfy. Yeah, I think we're gonna hit up one of the dark rides now. Not that I know where they are, but can have a little wonder. That's terrifying. Watching Harry on red arrows. Caves. Look, guys, first Port Ventura, and now Port Ventura has made its way to Blackpool. Welcome to Port Ventura. Vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Day three, Port Ventura. Here we go. We're outside Anchor. Yeah. World class splash battle. So hot. Bro. Yeah. Oh, so hot. 40 degrees today. Literally. Yeah. So need, need this splash battle. So we just come off of the splash battle Anchor, and in the words of Charlotte from Theme Park Worldwide. I am soaked. I cannot believe how beautiful this ride is. I haven't filmed much of it, but like, look out. I can't believe, this is a hidden gem. I cannot believe how beautiful this ride is. There's it's so much to look at. Ah, lovely sunny day. Look how cool that facade is. That's really cute. <laughs> I love these train designs. Everyone excited for Wallace and Gromit? Yeah. Harry looks very excited. Do you reckon he's excited? gift shop is. There's like so much going on. So much stuff to buy. It's come off the Wallace and Gromit dark ride and it was so cute, so wholesome. You go through like the little show scenes and there's little Wallace and Gromit stuff, stuff for films. You've got all the were rabbits, you've got the sheep, you've got the little rabbits coming in from the ceiling. That's some really cool effects, some really cool smell pods. 
and these guys are arguing and debating is it a cred? Because technically there are some bits that do coast. We would argue that it yes. is a cred. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know in the comments, yeah. is it a cred or no? That was a launch, it was a cred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second launch. Yeah. So wholesome vibes yeah. um, and just so cute. Yeah. yeah. And it like it managed to crab all of them into just like one ride, which was amazing. Yeah. And I also, love the film. Jump so scare at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was so 10 out of 10. So good. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You can't miss it if you come in here. Even if it's the only dark ride you do, you've got to do it. Right, we're gonna do Revolution, and then we're gonna do the one, the only, Icon. And five Icons are gonna be riding Icon on the same train, and it's gonna be beautiful, and I'm really excited. I love how there's no air gaze. That's kind of risky, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, so we just come off Revolution. What a thrill! I wasn't expecting to like that ride as much as I did. I'm really shocked. Like, that drop on the first, like, I guess launch it is, yeah. You go down like a tiny bit, and then all of a sudden you just drop even further. It's really shocking. And then going through the loop, wow, getting back up, up to the airtime bill, and it's the backwards. Going through that loop backwards is something I've never ever experienced before. So I was just really shocked that I just loved it that much. And it's just a weird experience and very thrilling, some good airtime, just a really fun ride. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. I think you guys should join the Moir Revolution. Subscribe, comment and like if you're enjoying this video so far. What did everyone think of Revolution? Did you not like it? Yeah. The initial drop and then by the time you get to the end of the drop and you sort of over that feeling, yeah. you're then straight into the loop. Yeah. So that made you feel a little bit like your stomach was in your throat. And then going backwards as well, like going backwards on it, it was such a weird sensation. I felt really <laughs> ill after that. Really? Yeah, I was being flung. Seems to be a consensus. Yeah. yeah. I was flung from the front of my seat and then like yeah, going backwards around the loop. Yeah. yeah. It was really, really odd experience and yeah. Yeah, another one I'm not going to rush back to. I, <laughs> I can appreciate the appeal. Yeah. The appeal wasn't yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah, I think just if you're a bit smaller, I think in general the rides here. And the like bars are not that tight, so you can yeah. Get so that first shot was terrifying. I thought I was gonna come out of the seat. Yeah, even I felt like that. It's like a yeah. two person. Yeah. So <laughs> Very good. I'm, I might have to go back on that again. I don't know if anyone else. I really enjoyed it. But yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go on Icon. The time has come to ride the most hyped coaster in the UK. Everyone says this is amazing. Everyone says this is the best. The launches are amazing. So much airtime. I'm, I'm so excited for this one. This looks like a coaster I'm going to enjoy because I love stuff like Taran and Abyssus. I know it's not going to be as strong as that, but I'm just overall very excited. I like the sideways airtime. The impact of that just really gets me going. That's what I love in a coaster. So, 10 minute queue. Let's do it. Icon. Icon. Did it live up to the hype? Yes, yes it did. It really did. So we did front row because you know if I if I do a new coast I'm hyped for, I love to do the front row. So we did front row. Got airtime on that top hat and I dread to think what it's gonna be like later if we do a back row. Warmed up. Wow, so much airtime, the twisty bits really took you hard. That junior Immelman, oh my god, you come you really stall out on your side on the front row anyway. I don't know what that'd be like on the back. Definitely want to do Enzo. That's convinced me. Yeah, I think I think that's like the UK's most kind of modern new gen coaster. You just get so much airtime. This is one bit where you sort of do like a bit of a sideways airtime. I love the interaction with all the rides. The restraints are so freeing. The launches aren't too powerful. In my opinion, it's not the best in the UK. I still rate a couple others higher, but I haven't done a back row yet. But it was still just absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best coasters in the country. I'm shocked. I'm kind of speechless. Ooh. Iconic, one word. Are you Harry Moore? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. No worries. Yeah. What did you think of Icon? Um, yeah, it was really, really good. Yeah. Uh, the launches were cool. Yeah. Uh, the sideways twistiness was really cool. We are well. twisting. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, really comfy seats. 
that is um, that's a possibility. And probably like the best one I think we've been on today. Yeah, easily. Eloise? Yeah. yeah. Really so fun. Any standout moments? Yeah, like, I loved the acceleration right in the beginning. Yeah. That was really good. <laughs> uh, yeah, all the twists and turns. Like it flowed really nicely together. It was really yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely nice the little best. fun. Definitely <laughs> the best. Yeah. Nice fun. Going upside down on a lap with a lap bar. That was the first time I've ever done that. It was yeah. interesting. Scary. Isn't it? But good. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. It was just so fast. Yeah. Jay Twizzy, what do you reckon? Yeah, I really liked it. I mean, out of the ones I've been on in total, probably my number one. Really? Nice. Yeah, because I mean, I've not been on like. Major ones, obviously the tallest one on was obviously the big one. That was, yeah. a, that was amazing. But that, I mean, this tops it just with like the the speed, the turns, like the air time you oh, get yeah, on sort of pretty is. much every sort of like pretty much the whole way around you out of your seat most of the time. For the most time out of the seat when you're doing it, and it's just like same as Tilly's, same as my first time on a lap bar only that goes upside down. And yeah. Is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Iconic. Definitely be on it later. Have we finally found a UK coaster for you that is better than Colossus? No. No? Ever beaten Colossus. I'm just sick right now. In this t-shirt. Do you reckon he's starstruck? <laughs> yeah. A bit of food review going on. We've got That's the Vegan Royale really from Burger King. And we're watching the Sky Force ride. And there is a guy on the back a minute ago, who was spinning very fast. We've got a countdown to the centenary, which you can't actually see on camera, but that does say five hours, four minutes, 55 seconds and 30 days, which is when it turns 100 years old. I think there's an event going on here when uh, that happens, so, so really, that'd be very good. 99, 99 years old, right? Let's go on a coaster that's 99 years old. How shocking is that? How is it still running? <laughs> Nice little water feature, and we got the train. Look at this, just pointed out by Tilly. Someone rode it for a thousand hours. What the hell? I could pick better coasters I'd want to go on for a thousand hours, yeah. I have to go on Big Dipper, right, which is the bags on special. And there's someone filming on the ride whilst coming out of the brake run. So how can you have someone on the phone on the coaster, but yet they confiscated this tiny little thing for my gimbal, which I'm not even using. Make it make sense, please. It's not on. And no. It's just infuriating. Do you reckon he's infuriated? I'm just so infuriated by yeah. it. It's genuinely, it's just not on. From now on, we're gonna do POVs on our phone and just do this. Yeah. Because they don't seem to care if you do it or not. No, we've got another star here. Andy oh, Hine. Thank you. Well, no, Andy Hine, I'm on about. <laughs> uh, <embarrassing>. Awkward. <laughs> we just done Big Dipper ahead of its centennial anniversary. 99 years old. And it was very fun. We got a non wheel seat, and yeah, it was a bit rough, but it's not overwhelming. And I think some of it's been retracked, which is good. And there was some mega airtime, like out of my seat airtime. And yeah, you, you, I know what it means by Big Dipper. You do dip. You do dip into those. Tunnels. I don't know why I sound literally talking. I'd rather <laughs> talking real. wobble. Yeah, Big Dipper. What did everyone think? So good. Yeah. I loved it. Definitely better than the big one. Do you think? Yeah. What, yeah. Think? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the drop on the big one was better, but I see what you mean, actually. I might have to agree with you though. It was more like yeah. comfortable in terms of the seat. Oh, but yeah. I think we haven't really had like a comfortable seat on the big one because there are ones that are like look a little bit more spacious. Yeah. But, fair. Yeah. Um, really, really good. I love that. It's like a nice classic Woody. I think it's the oldest one. It's not the oldest in the UK though, but it's close to it. Yeah. What did you think? Yeah, you I... got to sit next to. I sat next to Jordan. Yeah, you know, like technically, I was, you know, rubbing shoulders with the stars. So I've been there to, Thank you. Know, moi. I thought it was good. Like, I got a lot of air, like some air time on the drops. Yeah. But some of the corners were a little bit shaky. But the fact that they had like real comfortable seats in the padding on the side was a bit of a, you know, yeah. a bonus. We're like all about the retrack, retrack, retrack. retrack. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys have a good ride on the big dipper? It was good. Yeah. Harry made a lovely cushion. Yeah! Turn back into it. was very low. Eloise, did you enjoy? Yeah, it was super cute and crazy that it's so old. Yeah. So, so Wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to get Grand National, but it's been closed all day and I don't think it's going to open. It doesn't look hopeful. I mean, there's no one even in the, um, there's no one even in the op booth or on the track or anything. We're going to go on the Alice in Wonderland ride. Woo! 
we're in the Alice in Wonderland queue. And it's the longest queue we've been in so far, isn't it? Yeah. Why? It's not even a, there wasn't even a queue like this for Icon or the big one. Choo choo. <laughs> Go get a meal. <laughs> Can't believe it. People pushed in, didn't they? It was actually unbelievable. <laughs> Da, 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 da. You excited? I am actually. Oh my god, smell pods. Oh, my god. oh. oh wow. Oh, Trommel Tunnel. <laughs> Girl. This is so cute. Oh my god, Lumpty Dumpty. I'm a big fan. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's trying to climb up there. He ain't gonna climb up there, mate. I love that ride, we thought it was so wholesome, the smell pods are everywhere, it's just really cool and you guys had a different opinion didn't it you? It was so weird and trippy. Yeah, it, it was very trippy. Yeah. Like the sensory overload, there yeah. was too many things to look at. Yeah, that's the thing, I didn't really quite get it because of that, but I loved the um, <laughs> the headless Alice in Wonderland, it was, was it interesting. He had like the flamingo between the legs and then the Chesh Cheshire cat. There's some really cool animatronics. Very cool. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous though. There's so many empty seats and they're not filling them. Where's the single rider line when you need it? <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Will this be better than the one at PA? Uh, probably. <laughs> I'll just ride. Oh, that was good. <laughs> we just come off of the uh, Derby Racer, and it was very painful, but it was very fun. That's all I can say. And there was a little musical instrument, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. A disco horse? Yeah, a little disco horse. Yeah. It's very it's Lana Del Rey vinyl vibes. Yeah, well. like Edgelord, Lana vibe. You know how it is. <laughs> But yeah, we're just looking at Valhalla. I can't believe how amazing this facade is. It's reminding me of like, oh, there's like a little uncharted mask. Uncharted? What more about? I'm not a poor venture. Viking mask over there, which is really cool. And you got the waterfalls on the side of the building. I'm just really excited for this. I did Valhalla twice, but that was absolutely fantastic. It was world class. Definitely, I can see the hype. It's the best water ride I've ever been on. I'm really happy. Absolutely soaker. Like, they will tell you before you go on, you will get absolutely soaked. And that is true. Oh yeah, it was so good. Um, so many bits that were just completely unexpected. Yeah. Uh, got absolutely soaked, so that's one thing that was good about it. Yeah. Um, how the, um, obviously going on a water ride. Um, and yeah, these ponchos are really cool. Yeah. But Even just for the merch, you know, cop that merch. Like, if you look here. See, I was quite unscathed. I got a bit there, a bit there, but yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Um, yeah it's just like, it's just hard, impossible not to get wet. Yeah. Genuinely, but um, it was so good, genuinely. It's good, it's so theatrical, so many show yeah. scenes, it told a story. There are a couple dark spaces, but I feel like there is going to be on any dark ride like that. Um, yeah. But it was told through narration and. Yeah, the afterlife, some really cool effects. Yeah. And there's this one bit at the end, if you don't want any spoilers, skip to this part, but you go into a double down drop, which then you get plummeted into the fire, and the water then extinguishes that fire. Oh, it's great. I don't it's, know how they did that. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was amazing. Yeah. Jordan, what did you think? Not being funny. I am soaked. I am soaked. It, it was good, very immersive, but uh, I mean, I was sat front left on the first one, and I got absolutely Drenched. Yeah. And then on the second one, I was sat the row behind, and I thought it might not be too bad. And then got even worse. Drenched once again. <laughs> and I had a faulty, faulty one of these. <laughs> They're good, but also useless at the same time. <laughs> Boat is wet before you get in, even though they Hoover it out. Your shoes are gonna get soaked, so I decided to change into my flip flops because after Storm Force 10 a while ago, I had to literally chuck my shoes, and they were my favorite shoes. Yeah, mind blown, speechless. I'm just, yeah, it's been an amazing day. And we did two laps special because we had, to, I think, 
for me, I had to go around twice to like get to grips with the story and stuff. Yeah, 10 out of 10. We love you. So we've just done a bit of a run, trainage. We are going on Icon. Oh. I'm with Jay Twizzy. We split up from the others. They want to do the ghost train, but yeah. I wasn't too bothered. So I my, ran over uh, to my Icon. Mind. Got paper tickets now. Oh yeah, we got the paper tickets now, so no more phonage. <laughs> That's one thing I would say about Valhalla though, it's absolutely ridiculous that you have to take your bags on there, you have to have your ticket in there. We went to guest services to get a ticket because I didn't want to take my phone in there, which we had to buy a locker. Scanned, went to scan the ticket and the guy goes, oh, you don't need tickets for this one. <laughs> I was like, what? Get so we, we wasted like a good 10 minutes, which, you know. Get a paper ticket tomorrow though, like yeah. a physical ticket, because. Yeah, we're back for day two to two tomorrow. It's so much more easier than getting your phone out each time. Yeah. But we're gonna try and do a two lap special because I think we're gonna be on the last train. Even if we may be like, asked to do, Move seats like seat field. filling maybe like I won't even mind if that but just get as many laps in as possible I'm excited this is the best coaster here let's do this yeah but even if we can only get one at least there's another yeah. one like we said we might get tomorrow so we yeah. can like go for this straight away yeah I'm excited for this it'll be warmed up there'll be more air time hopefully get back home but I'm not fucking the way yeah. so we just did our last ride on Icon and I tell you what the first row I think is better on the top hat and the first couple elements and the back row is just better for everything else so we did like row seven and it was really, really good. Enjoyed it. The sideways air time was great. It's really good if it's your, like your first ever coaster, your first ever like big coaster, because it's comfy. It doesn't throw you around too much. There's slight air time. The inversions aren't really like overwhelming. What happened with you guys on the ghost train? Was it good? Oh, it was really fun. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Did you see Cloggy? No, I didn't actually. Cloggy. What? Did you Cloggy? See what's Cloggy? What's Cloggy? It's the person who haunts it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Cloggy lots of times. Yeah. We, we had a couple of jump scares, didn't we, Harry? Yeah. yeah a couple. Did you go on your own? Or? No. Who went on their own? I did. Oh, no. I did. Was there it good? was a little bit with, um, like, a little girl sat away from you yeah. in her little girl bedroom <laughs> and just suddenly she turned into a demon so that was yeah. Was it we intense? were fine with that no. too. Like it was, yeah. it was, it was yeah. fine. We were scared of a, there was like a branch that broke. <laughs> that yeah, was, you enjoyed it? That was an absolute screaming bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was really good though. <laughs> it was really, really good. Most of the flash. Yeah. Oh, and um, a thing of armor basically leaned forward but caught me off oh, guard because we, we were like nice looking armor. over there. And, yeah, it was like leaning like, like that. Armor. And that made me jump. What did you just say about the ghost train? Uh, ghost train is a crab. It is a crab. Why? I'm calling it because it has a uh, lift hill, train lift, and also two drops. So it is definitely a crab, and I'm counting it as so. Icon isn't there. What? Yeah. <laughs> Not a crud. Now he's just winding me up. Let me know in the comments, is Ghost Train a crud? Is Ghost Train a crud? I could guess. Icon lollipops, Mr. Funshine lollies, clotted cream fudge, Pleasure Beach. Come to Pleasure Beach. <laughs> Not a bit funny, look how random this is. Icon chopping boards. <laughs> like, what? They've got like wooden things of Icon and the big one. And, yeah. They're just, they've just gone all out with this merch and this, these shops. I cannot believe it. Even this massive section for the ghost train, it's like a little, res like a little you know, to scale, not to scale, obviously, but mini school size of the ghost train. You've got your Valhalla stuff here. There's God knows how many pins, magnets, fridge magnets. Wooden signs. Yeah, wooden signs, badges. What is it? <laughs> a Valhalla pizza board. Like, it's amazing. When I think Valhalla, yeah. I think... Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Thank god they have it. It's just so true to the ride, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a head comparison. <laughs> it's a good I can't believe it. That's like Sports Direct, Mark, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's a flood your house. <laughs> so we are rounding off our day one here from Pleasure Beach. It's been a fantastic day for my first ever time here. It's been good to get out some classic coasters that I've never been on before. I just realized I got screaming in the background at this funny outro because I got the horror maze just there. <laughs> so Icon has been a standout ride. Big one was amazing on the back row. Revolution kind of stood out for me. It was really, really good. Like just one of those rides that kind of takes you by surprise. And the wooden coasters were really good as well. Uh, lots of airtime, lots of roughness as well. Valhalla, amazing ride. If you're just going for Valhalla, Icon, big one. Those are the three standouts for me anyway. 
And it's just nice to come to a park that I've never been to. It was quite like, I feel like I was in a dream walking into that park because I've seen so many vlogs. It's taken six hours to get here. So it's been amazing to finally get here, finally see what the hype is about. Because we're not going to be here for a while, because I live like really far down south, we have got two days. So tomorrow we're going to come back because Avalanche and Grand National were closed all day today. So we didn't get a chance to do those. And we didn't get a chance to do the other steeplechase rail just because of how rough it was. And we didn't get a chance to do Infusion. I was a bit terrified, but we did a two lap special on Valhalla instead. Uh, my main gripes of the park though, I don't know why you have to scan your ticket outside every ride. It doesn't make any sense unless there's like a security risk or something. But apart from that, it's been fantastic here. The staff have been amazing. Uh, the food options have been really good as well. And it's very clean, it's very well maintained. And for the ticket price, for the amount of stuff that's in there, we didn't even cover like probably half the stuff that's in there. I mean, we did most of the main creds, but yeah, we're back tomorrow for re-rides and anything that we missed out. Have you enjoyed your day today, Harry? Yeah, Moore? yeah, it's been a really, really good day. Yeah, everything was really well themed, everything was really clean, uh, the stuff really friendly, par one probably. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, the only thing that was obviously frustrating was the whole ticket Yeah, thing. I said about that. Yeah. I feel like it just slowed everything down. Yeah. Um, and like the whole place is basically all locked down anyway. So I don't really understand why you have to scan the mm. ticket every single time you go into a ride. But other than that, it was really, really fun. Yeah, it waits for most battery, especially for like super hot influencers like myself who need to be vlogging <laughs> all the time. Honestly, yeah, yeah it, was, it was definitely like one to watch out for. Yeah. But in terms of battery, um, if you can go to guest services and get a paper ticket, I would recommend that. Yeah, that at the start I think we'll do that day. tomorrow, won't we? Yeah, yeah. definitely. But, um, highlight of the day? Oh, highlight of the day, uh, probably. Um, I've never been on one of the Red Arrow rides before, and I've really enjoyed that. <laughs> really? Interesting. Yeah, I love that. You always come out with this, the strangest <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> opinions. I love that. Uh, yeah, I love that. Um, and also Valhalla was amazing. I was so blown away by that. Uh, probably one of my favorite rides ever. Amazing. Uh, on, yeah, genuinely. Good. Right. Eloise, did you have a good day? I had such a good day. Good. Today. And yeah, kind of going off what Harry said, like I was really pleasantly surprised. Like I never been to Black Hole before or anything, so it's really cool to come yeah. out and see everything. And it was just, it was in Ellie, like really charming the way, yeah. like ever they kind of preserved all the really old stuff um, and like updated it and kept it really good. And it was just super cute. And yeah, Valhalla for me is like. One of the best rides I've ever been on. I was very, very impressed with that. So that's definitely a highlight for me. Yeah. Dark rides and good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> and Jordan, did you have a good day? Yeah, I had a brilliant day. Actually. It was uh, very good. I mean, first time being here, same as everyone else. The whole ticket thing with the phone, I'd have to agree, is probably yeah. like a, a little bit of a letdown. But obviously, like you said, we're going to go like there like to customer services mm. or guest services first thing to get a, in, in person one because otherwise you've got people getting your phone out your bag and it's a bit of a nightmare about that other than that I mean everything's like you know on point it's just yeah. uh, it's brilliant but yeah yeah it's been a good day yeah that's good yeah, best part for me probably I'd have to say Icon yeah that's yeah. good cool Icon Valhalla was good but I felt targeted <laughs> I felt like it was a personal attack okay, it against me and like, I got soaked like soaked Twice, so. Do you reckon he's soaked? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know it had water on there. <laughs> no, no one cool. told me, so I bought a poncho just because I wanted to fit in. Amazing. <laughs> Tilly, did you enjoy your day? It was so good. It was good. really good. I, I mean, poncho. I feel like everybody's covered most of it, <laughs> but no, it was it was nice seeing all the old bits, like Big Dipper with its 100th year, was really cool. yeah, yeah, and yeah, it was really good. Valhalla was incredible, of course. <laughs> Is that your personal highlight? I think so. Amazing. Going on it the second time, kind of knowing what's coming up, yeah. was a bit of a relief for me, and I could actually experience like the feeling a bit more. And another highlight was watching you guys go up on the big, big one. one. So I was safe on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Thank you for watching this Pleasure Beach video. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. 
tell me where I should go next. That's, that's my next thing. I need to go to Moor Park. So I'm on the road to 100. I'm getting very close now. Comment down below what should be my 100th cred. That'd be, that'd be the one. But yeah, it's been a very good day here at Pleasure Beach. And I'm excited to come back tomorrow for day two. One.